What you think, Kitty? We got us another one. Taking another quick trip down to Bud Salvage in Alleen, Oklahoma, just northwest of Enid. He's got a row of 67 Impala and Caprice four-door hardtops, which are a fairly popular car because of the TV show Supernatural. And I've always had people asking for those. So a lot of them, I mean, they're all in the parts row. They've been picked on, but I'm gonna just take a trip down there, see if there's anything that's usable for maybe being able to be brought back and resurrected. So come on down and see what I find. And back here again, several thousand cars, 1930s to current for parts and projects. 67 Caprice, front fenders tweaked in the peak. Need some suspension parts off my parts cars. Core supports bent. Windshield area is actually nice on this one. Both door glass is gone. Driver's door has some putty. Recorder has some putty. Good weather seal trough. Deck lid's gone. Roof got some rust. Trunk floor looks good. Rear bumper looks good. Rear end's gone, front hubs are gone. I would need to sacrifice a rusty frame car to make this a roller again. Other 67 parts cars out here. Maybe a guy could get a deck lid thrown in to sweeten the deal. 67 Caprice, two door hard top. 67 Impala four door post. Another 67 four door post. Any of these with the doors cut open to get the latch, that's probably something his dad did back in the day. Kind of a ham fisted way to destroy a door to get parts, but that's what he did. Anyway, if a door's bad, he will sell the moldings off them. Sixty-seven four-door post there. There's a rear shot. Sixty-eight Caprice four-door hardtop. Could give up some parts. Doors and glass and stuff. Sixty-seven Impala four-door. Good driver's fender, inner fender, front bumpers there. Passenger fender's kind of hurt. Inner fender's gone on that side. Missing spindle. Just has some rust in the windshield. Passenger door is gone. Front door is good, rear door's been cut. Little rust in the back window, but not awful. Missing pretty much the glass. Quarter panel would save. Front floor.
Got some rust down by the wheel tubs. Passenger quarter would save. Guy would have to kind of want this one pretty bad to bring it back, but it is 67 Impala, four door hardtop. 67 two door hardtop carcass. One nice front fender. Maybe a grill. 67 Caprice, four door hardtop. Driver's fender, got a little bit squeezed at the peak. Of course, port and grill are there. Suspension's been robbed. Doesn't look awful in the windshield, but there's always gonna be some. Driver's door, still has the glass in it. Steering column and some dash piece is gone. Incorrect front bench seat. Doors are good. Quarters good. Trunk lid's been pushed in, unfortunately. Little rust up in the corner, but not bad to patch. Trunk floor is very good. Weather seal edge is good. Rear bumper is good. Rear quarter is good. Needs a passenger rear door. Door and fender look good. Rear ends in it still. Could be saved. 67 Caprice, four door hardtop, 1500 bucks. Seven Impala four door hardtop. Weather seal rail is good. Trunks look, trunk floor looks like it'd save. Trunk lid's fixable. Usable, not rusty anyway. Passenger quarter, not so good. Front fender's usable. Doors can be saved. Driver's fender crinkled at the peak. Fixable if a guy knows what he's doing. Core support and inner fender would save. Need to pull that windshield and address that rust. Back window looks okay. Roof skin's not dented up. No vinyl top, which is good. There's a yard that's got a good bit of damage to it. in the dog leg. Steering columns out. Uh, 
ashtrays full. Driver's side doors would save. She's pretty solid. Twist the front over just a little, it'll be straight.
Northcutt Chevrolet. Coming to Kansas is probably the farthest from home this car's been for a while. Drive shaft, head hinges. Head hinges are reproed. So a guy could exercise these, see if they can get working again. Or just pick up some new ones. Headlight buckets are always good to have. Vintage Coke can. Red's the least UV stable color. So that thing's pretty faded out. Nothing else really to speak of. Russell Mud Company trucker hat, post-mortem. Thing's about ready to crumble to dust once it's moved, which is fixing to happen because this all needs to get cleaned out in here. Genuine Oklahoma red dirt. Stock hubcaps got to come off to make the transformation. How's it going? I'm just floating along, man. Yeah.
Nope. That's better. Day two, got the car dropped off in my lot. Got really, really lucky on this one that there's one door that still has a working latch. There's quite the problem with these cars that they get rust in these door latches and then the latch itself is fine, it just doesn't move. I'm actually going to split this video, and so I'll do the second video of showing how to undo those latches. This video will be more of just a informative, entertaining walk around the car. Do a quick segment I like to call Parts Car Time Machine. That is where we go through the historical artifacts found in a parts car, which can be useful to date when it was parked, shed a little light on American history, and other useless facts that bear zero relevance to restoration. We've got the woven rubber soled woman's sandal. Over here we've got the Coors can. We've got Johnson Wax Future Floor Polish. Faded Coors can. Up front, the woven blanket. Truck seat cover, actually. And a very, very full ashtray. This concludes this segment of Parts Car Time Machine. Little Parts Car Time Machine Encore here. We've got the factory Chevrolet floor mats. We've got the GPC pack there. Generic Products Corporation. And I'll bet they had every bit of the ashy chemical taste you would expect. Got two Oklahoma bottle caps, Adolph Coors. Always thought that was a Colorado only thing. Not aware that there's any Rocky Mountain spring water in Oklahoma, but you never know. Then we got the Oklahoma Big Mouth Pull Tab. Companies really got away from pull tabs because it created a lot of extra litter. Start throwing away the carpet, cleaning it up, shop vac it out, see how much rust there is and what repairs it needs. You can always get a pretty good idea just from looking at the bottom of a car what they're going to need, but until you really clean everything out on the top and get a good assessment, you don't really know exactly what it's going to take. Usually fill up about a whole trash can with the contents out of one of these. Pack rats have been busy in here. Two types of pack rats in the world. Four-legged variety and then there's a two-legged variety also search just a little more there's coins in here looks like a dime and another dime that's cool 1967 is the year of the car and a 1950 so that 50 is a silver dime, that's kind of cool. Got the car cleaned out for assessment of the condition of the floor. See back driver's pan, both front pans gonna need replacement, but really the 
rear driver's floor fairly solid I mean it's scaly but I think it'll save past the stomp test anyway under seat pan in the back looking really good there is a bit of rust in the rear jam there as well as that front jam that'll need attention and repair. Not the end of the world to roll a patch for that. Obviously, front fenders have to come off. Dash pretty complete and intact. You can see at the edge there, underneath the windshield, getting typical rust that all these 67s have really any car of the period your a body cars chevelle's cutlasses skylarks le mans all of those window channels they just get rust in them obviously windshield needs replaced anyway so that glass is out that's the time to do the necessary rust repair on the base of that dash. Honestly, I don't think that the manufacturer ever had an idea that we'd be still restoring these cars 55 years later. You know, obviously they intend them as a consumer good that gets cashed in and just buy another one. They weren't designed with any kind of longevity in mind. That's the fun of restoration. Just taking something that by all means shouldn't still exist and reviving it and bringing it back just because we're passionate about it and maybe a little crazy too. Next steps for this car will be to get the passenger door open. That's the last one. I'll do a separate how-to video covering the door latches. Then next step will be to title it. I'm gonna gather as many parts as I can for this car, try and have it packaged up as complete as I can for the next person restoring it. There's some damage on that passenger quarter may need a replacement, may be able to straighten the one that's on it, that's kind of up to the next buyer. With the amount of rust and filler that's in it, it may be just best to start over with a good one off of a parts car, which I do have other parts cars around in the yard to pull things off of to make this as complete as possible. 1967 Impala will be available soon. This old Impala didn't quite make it.